Yo, welcome back. Uh, I'm here in Seoul, South Korea. Can't really see anything out the window. But yeah, I landed here last night and today I'm heading to rehearsals with The Rose. Got five shows out here with these guys in Asia, so I got rehearsals today and tomorrow and then a few days off here in South Korea. I'm going to fly over to Jakarta for the first show and yeah, it's a bit of a weird one this time because for this tour I'm not doing front of house. I am production manager and I'm going to be doing a little bit of TM stuff as well on this run but yeah I've got a new guy called Joel taking care of front house and I'm going to be production manager for this run and I also need to learn how to run the playback rig because we don't have a playback engineer this time so today is mainly going to be me trying to figure out how to do that we'll see what happens figure that out and then I've got the rest of the tour to finish up organizing uh, make sure everything's all good for the shows production wise and make sure we've got all our flights and hotels and all that sort of stuff so yeah Let's go do it. All right, room rehearsals. Lucas making some looms. I am. Little look at Lucas set up. Here we go. Uh, did you go? No. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Lucas running the. Let me spin this camera around. So Lucas running the SD11i for the monitors, and we've got a bunch of these racks. What are these? SD rack nine? Are they mini ones? Mini. Yeah. So we've got a mini rack here that will live next to the desk, and I believe this is all the inputs from the playback rig. And um, then, what else is on this one? Actually, no, that is doing ears and RF mics. Oh. Then, locally on the SD is full of playback. Ah, okay, so playback goes straight into the back. And then you have two other SDs. And then two more SD racks. So there's one there that does keyboard world. And then another one down here does drum world. A little drum kit set up in the corner. Just halfway through micing that up. Uh, keyboard world over here. And then a bunch of cases we're just sorting through the gear now we're flying a few days so we've got to sort through and make sure everything's correct on the carne and all the cases are correct dimensions and stuff fun 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 uh what else have we got on here some rf stuff and then some more rf stuff all fun and games playback world so we're gonna have a couple of laptops waiting on the second one to arrive so I have a main laptop and a b laptop and into this uh i need to figure out how this works i've not seen this before uh, so I'm just currently waiting for a power cable to power it up. It's all running off Dante and it connects from here to that box over there and then Dojun can like control these laptops from his feet over there. And this is front of house world for Joel. Uh, Digico. Uh, uh, uh. Got no idea how any of this works, but just turn it off and on five times and then all of a sudden it works. So now, hit play there, this works. And then, if I go over here, this rack and this foot switch should also work. Yes. And then when I turn it on tomorrow, it probably won't work again. And that's how it works, right? Day one, done. Luca, are you happy? Yeah. He's never happy. Uh, no, nah, that's not true. No. Joel, are you happy? Um, oh, I'm always happy. <laughs> Flo, are you happy? Le legit, legit. Right. Flo's dead. Yeah. He Flo's happy? What do you mean if we haven't done anything tonight? No, like? even if we haven't done anything tonight. Flo's happy. Always happy. Always. I'm happy because I have these shoes. Look at those like sexy cinched jeans as well. Oh, they? They're different. Like these are my this is rock and roll socks and sliders. Yo, day one, done. 
Uh, just got back from rehearsals, back to the hotel. It's now 10 past midnight. It's finished up and gone back to the hotel. It's starting at like 9 a.m. this morning, so it's been a bit of a long day. Uh, grabbed a coffee this morning, went over. Yeah, got everything set up in the room. The rehearsal room is basically just like a blank room. There's nothing really in there. So everything that we're bringing in, we're using to make rehearsals happen. So we got everything in, got everything set up, and then most of the morning going through all the cases a bunch of cases that have come from the states with all the audio gear and then we have a bunch of cases in korea that are going on the tour with us for the band's backline stuff so i've been sorting that this morning going through consolidating everything down as best i can going through checking that everything that's on our carnet is correct in the boxes i'm just sorting all that out ready for being collected by the freight company tomorrow evening did all that in the morning and then about four o'clock we got kicked out of the room so we had to like push all the gear to one side and pack down everything that we put in the middle then they did like a little concert in the room so this a few people from the local community came in played like some string quartet stuff had some food and some wine we like pushed all our gear out of the way let them do the thing we went food some awesome food it was good yeah went back into the room got everything set up finally figured out how to get the playback working fingers crossed it still works tomorrow i don't know what i did to make it work just literally turned it off and on again about five times and tried it in different orders of plugging stuff in and then all of a sudden it popped up and worked yeah i don't know not a playback engineer see what happens figure it out tomorrow if i got it to work today then we know it, it works it's just in which order to plug it in so I think I remembered which way I did it. Try tomorrow morning, and then if it doesn't work, we'll just try a bunch of different ways, and then write down each way until we know it works. And then I've got it, so yeah. Did that, got that working, got some of the audio stuff working, so we did a line check and everything. Audio guys were seeing signal everything that they needed to. So yeah, I think we're in a good place. Got band in tomorrow at midday, so yeah, I'm gonna get some rest now. Go back in in the morning, door check over everything, and then do a rehearsal, pack up by six o'clock. Freight company come collect it. They send it straight to Indonesia and we have four days off in Seoul. Peace. Cases, 15 USA cases, one German background tech. <laughs> nice little neat row for the collector of the crate. Semi neat row. All labelled with the correct Carne numbers. Rehearsal's done. Let's got back to the hotel. Got like 2% battery on this, so it's gonna be quick. But yeah, rehearsal's good. We did a full room for the set. The playback worked for the entire set, which is good. And managed to get the second laptop all set up today. It was a brand new laptop, so we got to install everything that's needed to run all the playback stuff and all the Dante virtual sound. Let's try that again with a new battery. So. Just finished up rehearsals on day two. Did a full run through with the band. Went in this morning, set everything up again. Uh, line checked everything, make sure it was all working. Went through the playback stuff and make sure that was working. And it was all good. Plugged it in, it just kind of worked, which still don't know how I did it yesterday to do that, but I wrote down the correct order to plug everything in. So I'm just gonna carry on doing that and hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Uh, also managed to get the second laptop set up today. So we've got two laptops running at the same time. There's redundancy, so uh, it was a brand new laptop, laptop B. So I spent most of the day setting that up, downloading everything that needs to go on there. So it needed to have Ableton installed and activated. Needed to download like Dante Virtual Sound Card and get a license for all that stuff. So I've got all that set up and by the time the band had finished rehearsing, laptop one was still going. 
um, playing the set while they were doing that and then managed to get laptop to work in and seeing everything and all synced up so yeah get to the first show and make sure everything's still good but I've got a better idea of the system and how it works now so I'm in a good place uh, I also had a meeting earlier with all the production freight people and uh, the band's manager and stuff and make sure we've got everything all aligned for the rest of the tour and the freight company came and picked all the gear up at six o'clock so they've taken all the gear now and that's going to clear customs at this end go over to Indonesia and clear customs there and should be there the day before our show we'll see all that there I've got this case here which has got the two playback laptops in it so I'm going to carry that as hand luggage because don't want to take laptops on the, the hold of a plane on the cargo plane i'd rather just have them with me and know that they're safe and we have them because i don't know if you know this but laptops are very expensive and fragile so carry them with me all good i'm now waiting around i've got a another phone call in 25 minutes to do with the europe tour that starts next month sorry some bits out for that and then i'm gonna go get some food and maybe have a couple of drinks so rehearsals in Korea done got a few days off now so yeah have some drinks tonight then I think we've got three days to hang out in Korea then we fly to Indonesia well, maybe two days to hang out then we fly and then show day but yeah peace see you in a bit bye <laughs> Back world, work in. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, Luca, it works. More or less. It kind of works. <laughs> so both laptops are linked to this, and then that links into this stuff somehow. And then when I hit play, that works. And outputs. All this stuff, all of that goes into the back of the SD. Oh, the SD, what is this? An SD11i. Uh, and that's all linked via Optical Loop. So a rack there, a rack there, and another one by Hajun. And they all take all the inputs. What else is going on here? So I've got Luca's monitor desk, which is rubbish little digical. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, rubbish. It's not a, a C500, is it? Then, what's going on underneath here? Accents. So this is the accent, vocal mics. And guitar and bass. That air guitar. Okay, there you go, that's what's going on there. Boom. And some in-ears. Lots of in-ears. Some sort of spectrum analyzer. Nerd. <laughs> uh, little recording set up here. And then look at this bit of technology. This is like a, a baby camera. And look, front of house of Mons, a high-tech conferencing system, so they can see each other. So that's the front of house. And they can see and talk. How cute! High-tech step. guitars and keyboards, Prophet 6, and this Sub 37, a little Nord over here, classic stage 3, camping and pedals, so then this switch here lets Doja control the playback rig during the show, so he can go, he can skip through the songs, same as my little 
uh, oak tone thing over there and it can hit like and that's all controlled by this box here the network switch some sort of controller that receives a ethernet cable and underneath Dojan's keyboard world it's also the first rack here actually the second rack the first one is the one over by Hadoon second one here and the third one by Monarch Desk well, all the inputs from here go into here so there's stereo lines from these keys there's two lots of keyboards there stereo line from the Kemper and then two mono acoustic lines that go through these switches here uh, so they've got volume pedals so a bunch of jar boxes there all plugged into this box and then the other box over here is all the drums let's get plugged in right now Show one in Jakarta, done. It's actually a few days later now. I'm just really bad at filming stuff. So yeah, show was great. We turned up to the venue. I filmed some bits during the day, just nothing really talking through what had happened. But yeah, I turned to the venue nice and early to receive the cargo shipment that would be freighted there. I needed to be there to like sign off that all the cases were there. So I turned up and thankfully all cases were there. And then we got setting up. They built us a circle riser in the middle to our spec, which is crazy. But yeah, thank you team in Jakarta. Uh, I need to try and stop moving around while I do these, but always pacing and bumping into things. Uh, yeah, they built us that, they built us a catwalk. The venue was all prepared, ready for us. So they had that all set up, they had the back line ready for us. They had all the lights set up to our spec. So when Paul at LD arrived, it was all ready to go and he could just jump into programming, which was great, especially for the first show. Yeah, got set up pretty quick, got everything line checked and working correctly. Yeah, that was about it really. They then sound checked like an hour, uh, band dialed in their in-ears and yeah, did all the VIP stuff, got the crowd in, 
did like the VIP soundtrack stuff and then the show happened, kind of went okay. I mean, the show was great. A couple of little bits we just need to refine for the next one. Cause it's like my first time seeing this show cause the last tour I did was like a different set list. Uh, but they just done this exact like set list and show in America. And there's just some bits like, there's one bit where they come off stage and there should be a video playing as they're off stage. But I've never seen this. So I think something went wrong with the tracks. I need to confirm what happened, but I think the stop button was hit on the tracks on stage and then the play button was hit. So it automatically stopped, went to the next track and started playing. So the band had lost the tracks and stuff in their ears. We lost time code to the lights. I think the interlude started playing while they were still finishing the last song. So as they came off, the interlude was actually halfway through and the video wasn't playing. But I didn't know this because I'd not seen the show before and the video should have been playing, but then it went into the next track a bit too soon because the band come off stage and do an outfit change and come back on. And they were like halfway through the outfit change and the next song kicked in so they had to like rush back onto stage. <laughs> but we'll dial that in and next show that won't happen. But apart from that, the show was great. We had confetti, we had CO2, we had uh, cold sparks. The venue went all out and given us everything on the spec, so that was great. And then packed everything down, sent all the gear with the cargo team. They're delivering it to Manila, hopefully the next couple of days and then yeah, next year's in a few days. Just had a couple of days off here in Jakarta. Uh, we moved hotels halfway through. I had a nicer room than this. This one's fine. But I forgot to film anything in the other room, which was on like the 58th floor of a skyscraper. It was good. I had a couple of days off here and we're just getting ready now. We're gonna fly to Manila overnight. So it's currently 20 past eight in the evening. I'm gonna go downstairs now, get all the bags onto a bus and then go to Manila. So see you in Manila, I guess. Peace. Stage is set up now. When we got here, this wasn't here, this wasn't here. It was very short, so we made them go and get more decking because we need more space, right, Paul? Absolutely. More we space. space so we've added a bit of decking on the back today to make it the correct size, which is fun. But it's a big old room. We're good to go. Big old circle of lights all around the stage. If it's good, got a drum kit tripping over this pedal. Put that back. Uh, this is the Jeffs, or Jay Young's. Uncle Mike, and then this Kemper, volume pedal, set list. And over here, and we see the little German boy Hello. shopping for in ears. Yeah. And then we have this case for the Nord built every day. So it looks like he's playing a piano from the front. But really, we're cheating 
and it's just a Nord stage three. Oh, today's stage two, hidden inside the case. Uh, is Dojun's other keyboard world. So we got this one, whatever this is, sub 37, and our Profit 6. And plays during the set. Kemper, Switch, acoustic guitars. Here's a little bit of the playback rig. So out of the back of my playback rig down there, there's one ethernet cable that runs to this. And then this, let's, this control the set list. So we can play, stop, and skip between songs on here. And yeah, that is that. And then he plays these, and a rock show happens here. setting up jungle is setting up now and sound checking we don't have any time to do any soundtrack so our risers are here behind the stage uh, we've got all four so we're gonna set up dojin on this one with the keyboards and then Hadrian stuff's on that one and there's another one this size of a side so when jungle finish their risers are gonna come off and ours are gonna go into place here ready to go on stage after the first band play the first band play they go off stage and we'll just push on uh, so we'll push the drums in place, push the keyboards in place, then put the two blank ones in the middle for Wu Sung and Jay Young, uh, and put the campers and the mic stands on. And we're good to go. So I'm getting all this plugged in now, all set up and mic'd up. Let's go stage. Today's playback world, side stage. There's Luca getting filmed twice. Look at that. Oh. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> Luca's new desk. Do you like new desk, Luca? Um, sure. <laughs> it's not sure, it's Digico. Playback world. Second everyone that needs to run out. Boom.
Dun, 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 dun. Good job, Flo. Yeah. Let's go. cases on the way to the next show already. 12 trolleys, Luca. Yes. One hour later That might have been the most stressful airport situation ever So Yeah <laughs> Mumbai airport Probably the slowest airport I've ever been to It was a bit of a nightmare Everyone was really slow. I just don't understand how, why are you handwriting everything out? But we're now in Malaysia and it's nice. There it is. There's a big building there. Don't know what this is. What's called cool though. So let's go do a show tomorrow here in Malaysia. Bye. Here's all the gear that's come from Manila. And it's like Christmas, unwrapping it, isn't it, Luca? Yeah. Look, look at what have you got for Christmas? Apparently, some microphones, but wow. actually that is not true because they live with Flo. <laughs> and then all the Korean gear we just flew with, flew with, all the Korean gear we flew with is there. Massive video screens, so IMAX, big video wall, stage, big room, big gig. Let's go! Not vegetarian because it's inside already meat. Yeah. 
때. And then no, no chicken, no, no chicken, no chicken. And then let's try kimbap. Noodles? Okay, so. <웃음> 스팸. No 스팸. 어머. <웃음> 아, 아니, 안 좋아하는 것 같은데. 나, 어디에? 소, 파워 디스. 이거 진짜 잘 어울려요. 이거. 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 
Stage, stage, stage. All set, ready to go. I'll step up. It's not turned on. So, Nord keyboard and a piano shell. Today, we have an actual piano. Yeah. Dojun's guitars, double keyboard, Prophet 6, 37. Ready to go. Campers already. Is this still working? Let's find out. Yes. Let's just start the show. Uh, at least tape these cables down because they are loose. And they step over these a couple of times. Don't want them to trip. Camper. Camper. Guitar. Drums. Dun 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 dun